Welcome back. I missed you. Where were you? Anyway. My opponent's put me on the play. What an idiot. Little does he know my hand's insane. But yeah, I'm not, not going to mulligan this. Going to get him for two on turn two, baby. Look at that mana. This would be better as a red mirror, though. But that's still fine. We don't have any double red cards at the moment. Obviously, having said that, I'll now draw all my double red cards. But I don't really have any bad draws at this point other than lands. Then again, that's the case for most hands. So that doesn't mean much. Wait, there it is. I would like to gain two life, please. Target opponent loses two life. Target you. Go. Get in for two. I like the Exarchs. The white one's obviously fairly boring compared to the others, but... Oh. Um... Hmm. I guess I'll offer the... Yeah, I'll just sacrifice my blister stick for the greater good. He's playing Infect, though, which is good, because, obviously, A, I've got all these um, burn the impures, and B, I should have Phyrexian Mana card, so... Both of these are good against Infect. And he's got nothing, so... That turned out to be a good play. Um, here I could... I've got two options, obviously. I could make the gold mirror and then have a guaranteed save a golem next turn. But then that kind of opens me up to, like, artifact removal blowouts. And Trespassing Soul Eater is going to get in for two, then four. So by the time golem's attacking, this will have got in for four already, and then I can make the golem. So I think, overall, it's better to... Slow this down. Obviously, as, as well, if I draw a land, I can just play the golem anyway. So. Oh, what's he got? Yeah, it's blessing that. Let's read what it does. Target artifact creature you control gets protection from artifacts or from the colour, so I'll choose this and choose green. Get protection. <laughs> I was going to go through each option. No. Oh, no, you just choose the colour. Fair enough. In which case, that's not as ridiculous. And I've just received a text. Who's it from? Hopefully Bruno. It is from Bruno. Yo, was in a Skype meeting when you called. Not looking good. I think it's best to consider that I'm not coming. What a bastard. So, basically, um, me and Bruno made sure we got the same flights to Nagoya. That everything was the same and that all that... Um, Choose how many times pay two life instead of blue. One, I guess. But I lost two life. Oh no, because I played a puzzle. Yeah, yeah. Um. So as I was saying with Bruno, basically what's happened is, um, we made sure that our flights were the same. Everything was kind of synced. We'd go together. We'd arrive together. We'd come back together. And now he's said that he can't come because he's got a really important meeting. Um, some summer program that he needs to get on, which is fair enough, but it's kind of annoying that I now have to <laughs> either stay on my own or find someone else to stay with or, you know, that kind of thing. But back to the game. Enough bitching about Bruno. I am staying with someone else, so it's not the end of the world, but that person's leaving two days before me, but then again, two days in Japan by yourself, there are worse things that can happen to someone. So, at this point, what could my opponent have? I'm going to play the Goldmere. If he has, like, a Creeping Corrosion, this leaves me with two pretty good cards in hand. Um, if I didn't, if I wasn't scared of mass removal, oh, okay, he's just got nothing. So if I wasn't scared of Master Reveal, I'd just play the Glinthog Island quick in his clock, but I guess if I play this, it means any spell or land I draw is good. Uh, yep, yeah, they're all good. Although, Act of Aggression is not that good against him, because i just take an Invent guy. Um, yeah, I'm not going to board anything, because that worked out fine, so you know, results based and all that. 
And let's see if he puts me on the play again. He probably will. I don't think he saw anything in that game that would make him want to change his mind. I think I would choose a draw with this deck, to be honest. Because when your deck's all one-for-one one removal, it's better to... Oh, he chose to play first. Fair enough. When your deck's all one-for-one one removal, it's better to draw. Because then you kind of gain the advantage, especially if it's cheap removal like I have. And yeah, I'm going to keep this. I... The hand's a bit awkward, but any land I draw is fine. So no, I would not like to mulligan. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> probably the worst draw I could have got. Never mind. Can't really complain. It's a bit early for complaining. Not that I ever do complain, of course, but... Ooh, Ember Smith. <laughs> Wish I'd kept that Copper Carapace. I suppose I couldn't have known. <laughs> that would be really good against the Silver Mirror, though, and I don't have any more Wonder of Artifacts. Never mind... Um, yeah, I'll happily trade. Because I don't have any more artifacts. Obviously, he doesn't know that, although I'm kind of telling him by doing this. But, oh well. I guess it's obvious I don't have artifacts when I don't play an artifact this turn. But yeah, I'll trade my 2-drop for his 4-drop. That's fine by me. And he doesn't have anything. Okay. Let's get this guy out there, then. Nice draw. He might have removal, though. I guess he wouldn't have kept a hand with stone nothing. No, he doesn't have removal either. In fact, yeah, I don't think this guy's very good. Then again, no, I don't know he's in fate, because he played a Necropede and you play that in any deck. I was going to say it doesn't trigger such a priest, but it obviously does. Yes, I would like to. Oh, there's the option for a mid combat blowout if he decides to double block. Hopefully he doesn't have that pump spell. Phyrexian pump. No he doesn't. All good in the hood. Suppose he didn't have it when he blocked with Tangle Mantis. That will take two. And still nothing. Yeah, I'll attack first and see what he's got. And then, if he has some kind of beast from within, he can burn it. Oh, he's Glister Scorning. Ah, I should have Blister Sticked. That's annoying. Yeah, because I saw this game one as well. No, that's so bad. I am terrible. I'm going to use it anyway. For shame. He'll make another X1, it's fine. Won't he? Yeah? Here it is. Yep, got lucky, obviously. Yeah, that was really bad. Never mind. Probably should have played around it. Um, yeah, I don't really want him to gain life. And I don't think he'll make a better target than a life smith. Always yes to such a priest. And always yield. There we go. And yield once. And pass. So yeah, I do like such a priest. Well, I, I like Bloodseeker. I just like, especially with this deck, because it's quite easy to get ahead with this deck. So people are always playing catch up, and obviously that's pretty good when every catch up they're making is losing them a life. Because now at this point, like I'm way ahead on board, and anything he makes is just going to bring him closer to death, and I'm raising him. So. Uh... I guess Silver Claw Golem's a better play here. More likely to get killed, but taps my mana much better. This way, next turn, I can play Resistor and Exarch if I draw planes. What do you got? Parasitic Implant. That doesn't really bother me. Especially because I can make Resistor and Exarch. Even the Implant's going to lose him a life. Um, 
I'll make this and then do some math. 7, so it's going to go to 6 off implant. And then... Okay. I'm just wondering if I'd rather keep Resistor or Blade Tribe. Again, I'm fearing some kind of mass removal, like um, that minus X, minus X. So yeah, I'll make it a slightly worse guy. I don't think it actually makes a difference in terms of clock, because he'll just block this guy. If you block such a priest, he's practically dead, I think. Let's see what you got. Oh, he concedes. Fair enough. Still had all these lands. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't drawing very well, so I'm glad he conceded. Um, yeah, cool. See you for the next round. I guess he, he didn't draw particularly well there, but I also did get good draws and my deck's quite good. So, yeah, see you for the next round.